Jerry Schoenfeld was part of the first team of guys I met when I came back here to do my show for Mike Nichols. And there's no explanation for the friendship that developed between Jerry Schoenfeld and myself. You would think to look at me, how could this be? But for some reason, for the 25 years, or 30 and closer, maybe, I don't know when, but that I've been around, Pat and Jerry always made sure that they checked on me uh, to see how I was doing and to find out if there was something else I wanted to be doing. And Jerry would say, so, you want to do a play? <laughs> I go, well, yeah, but I'm kind of making movies. So, if you want to do a play, we'll do a play. <laughs> I said, but I, I'll let you know. And finally I said, okay, I want to do a play. So I did a play, and it was not a great play, but it was an okay play. And then he said, so do you still want to do more? <laughs> I said, yeah, I could do more. He said, okay. And the next thing I knew, I was doing a uh, funny thing happened on the way to the forum. I mean, he just, he would, he would force me to figure out what I wanted to do. And that was kind of great, because sometimes you need somebody to kind of nudge you along. I never pissed him off, which I was really happy about. Because <laughs> I saw the wrath when other people pissed him off, and I thought, ooh, I'm so glad that's not me. <laughs> and he's just, he was just my friend. He just liked me, and I liked him, and I don't have any groovy, deep stories, except that we were connected, as I am with Pat. We were just connected, and he was a good guy to me. And he did some amazing things on, on the stage, and he made amazing things happen, and damn it, he was a good guy to me.